I'm Elizabeth King with the Wichita State University Foundation, and I, I'm here to welcome you and to thank you. Um, being a member of the Fairmount Society is the highest honor that we have to give to you for your generous philanthropy, and we um, are grateful, and we're grateful on behalf of the students and the faculty and the staff of your university. A lot happening on the campus, uh, and a lot of it because so many friends of the university have chosen to step up to donate their time and talent and their money to help us move the institution forward. Many of you are here tonight, and I do want to say thank you. We are celebrating some people who have gone above and beyond tonight, but I also want to make sure that all of you know that we understand that without you, we wouldn't be doing the things we're doing. So thank you for that. And so what the Innovation Campus is doing is when this is built out, it will have approximately two thirds of the number of employees as there are in all of downtown Wichita today. Think about that, think about that. <clears throat> On 120 acres, the city of Wichita is changing Oliver and 21st Street to allow for the passage of 10,000 vehicles a day, 10,000. So what we're trying to do is to provide immediate opportunities for our students. And any business that locates on the campus has to guarantee to hire students in the professions in which they're studying. So that it isn't just clean the floors, but it's real work on real projects that cause them to understand what it means to practice their profession or to be an educated person. And that is a very different model than what you're going to see at similar institutions around the country. I'm also excited that not all of this is happening related to engineering. I think if you saw the Wichita Eagle this morning, you noticed that the city is committed to bringing the police training center to the university. We hope the county will join them. We think they will. But we're going to move the criminal justice program to the same building. And we're going to move our Center for, Pol for Community Policing to the same building. Had the police in Ferguson, Missouri been trained by our staff, you would have never heard the name Ferguson. Community policing changes the tone of the interaction between the police and the community. And we're going to have that connected to Wichita and Sedgwick County officers to try to make sure that we can continue to build the caliber of our community. When John came to this university along with Deborah almost four years ago, one of our first conversations was that we needed to be looking at launching a comprehensive capital campaign for the university. So many ideas and limited resources. And so we went through a process and we are still in that quiet phase. We intend to announce the campaign. It's the Shock the World campaign uh, at our President's Club dinner in, in the fall. It has four major areas for capital projects. A new home for the W. Frank Barton School of Business, the Henry and Lab, a uh, Henry and Hall renovation, which will include the Ideas Lab and a complete renovation of this iconic, amazing building that's 97 years old on our campus. Enhanced athletic facilities, where we are going to be um, uh, adding a new building to Coke Arena as well as enhancing the existing arena and um, more, more areas for uh, X Stadium. And our experiential engineering building, which is really a big building. It's on 17th Street. Come by, look at it. It's amazing. Dr. Bowden and his team are working very hard and we need to fully equip it. So those are just the capital projects. We're also looking at supporting scholarships and fellowships. And as I look around this room, so many of you already have supported the capital projects as well as the scholarships and fellowships. Professorships and chairs, an area that we frankly need to enhance. We have um, close to $300 million in our endowment. And the president was talking about 4,000 institutions of higher learning across the country. A Wichita State Foundation is 190th in the value of our endowment. That's pretty darn good. 
but it's not good enough. We want to create more and more endowed positions uh, to support our faculty because as you know, our students will only be as good as the faculty under whom they study. And there's lots of program areas across our campus that we're seeking uh, your valued support. So that's our Shock the World campaign. It is with great passion that I speak about it because the future of the students that are currently at WSU and are coming to WSU in the, in the years ahead will only be as good as the support given to the university because it's through philanthropy that that margin of, of difference will be made because we aren't going to be seeing it from our state resources. That's a reality. It's not complaining. That is a reality. We need the support from all of our philanthropists uh, who are shockers. And so we're going to honor first our newest annual members and associates of the Fairmount Society. Annual members contribute at least $20,000 a year. Uh, we are here uh, tonight, first of all, uh, to welcome some new life memberships in the Fairmount Society. And a life member is someone who has made a terrific commitment over the term, over time, to Wichita State. Individuals and companies contributed $250,000 to almost $500,000 over a lifetime. Now to recognize our new Lifetime Distinction members. The Lifetime Distinction designation honors those who have contributed between 500,000 and a million during their lifetimes. They are receiving a lovely print of the Wichita Arch, which was constructed in 2004 by Andy Goldsworthy, and is a permanent sculpture on the campus. Our final uh, honorees tonight are Lifetime Achievement members of a giving club, which recognize outstanding donors whose lifetime giving exceeds $1 million. As you know, the Fairmount Society is named after the Fairmount College. One of the college's early slogans was Fairmont Bill's Character. Our new Lifetime Achievement members have built their reputation on their character. This year's Lifetime Achievement members are Craig Barton, Kurt Gridley and Tracy Hoover, and Meritrust Credit Union. At each of their place settings, they have a lovely glass sculpture from Art Glass as just a token of our appreciation for this monumental uh, accomplishment. Now moving on, the musical theater program WSU continues to deliver some of Broadway's most entertaining performances. It is my pleasure to introduce Associate Professor of Musical Theater and a very proud Shocker alum, Amy Baker Schwedahl, to the stage and she will introduce you to this evening's entertainment. So Chicago is now the longest running Broadway American musical. It's going into its 20th season on Broadway and national touring companies. And tonight, you will see the numbers All That Jazz, We Both Reached for the Gun, Roxy, and The Hot Honey Rag. Come on, babe, why don't we paint the town? And all that jazz, I'm gonna rouge my knees and roll my stockings down. And all that jazz, start the car, I know a whoopee spot where the gin is cold, but the get us hot. It's just a noisy hall where there's a nightly brawl and all that jazz. Where'd you come from? Mississippi. And your parents? Very wealthy. Where are they now? Six feet under. When she was granted one more start, the convent of the Sacred Heart. The Board of Trustees Award first presented in 1989, is given to a person who has made significant contributions to the vital and rewarding partnership that exists between Wichita State University and the community. The recipient is selected from worthy honorees, nominated by a committee from the Board of Trustees, then reviewed by President Bardo and approved by the entire board. This year, we are privileged to present Dr. John Tomlin with the honor. In the past two or three years, few people connected to Wichita State have had more interaction with off-campus constituents than John Tomlin. 
for his commitment to the future of Wichita State and the Innovation Campus and his work to strengthen the partnership between the university and the community, John has been selected as the 2016 recipient of the WSU Board of Trustees Award. The Fairmont Founders Award was first presented in 1988, and it's given for outstanding service and exceptional contributions, which consistently manifest the values and ideals of the founders of Fairmont College. Those ideals were determination, commitment to access to education for all, a vision of excellence, persistence against sometimes overwhelming odds, and connection to community. Bill and Donna Ard's generosity with their time and treasure embodies the ideals that the founders of Fairmount College envisioned. Their philanthropy provides access to education, their leadership on boards creates visionary excellence, and an inseparable bond with the community. For all they have helped Wichita State accomplish, Bill and Donna Ard have been selected as the 2016 recipients of the Fairmount Founders Award. So this concludes our Fairmount Society dinner. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We certainly have. And we've been so grateful to have you here and continue to appreciate the support that you give that continues to have a great Wichita State University.